Good morning, everyone. Uh, I've been asked to start off this new series um, on the fruit of the Spirit. And the first part is uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love. Uh, so by way of introduction, uh, the main passage we'll be looking at is in Galatians 5, verses 22 to 23. And it'd be wise to understand those verses in their context, as always. Uh, so the passage begins, but the fruit of the Spirit, suggesting that what follows is actually in contrast to what went before. And what went before was a description of the acts that come out of the sinful nature of man. Not a pretty sight. You can read the list for yourselves in Galatians 5, 19 to 21. But here, Paul says, is the alternative way to live by the fruit of the Spirit. <clears throat> it's interesting to note that the word fruit here is singular. That we get through the Spirit, what we get through the Spirit is a basket full of goodies. The Spirit doesn't give one of these things without giving all the others. In this series, we'll look at each one briefly, separately. But we need to remember that they all, they're all given to us by the Spirit. Of course, the Spirit mentioned is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, his nature, his characteristics, the one in whom all the fullness of the Godhead dwells, as it says in Colossians 1 verse 19. Jesus, who is the exact representation of the Father, as it says in Hebrews 1 verse 3. Elsewhere, the Bible speaks of the type of fruit being determined by which tree it comes from. The fruit of the Spirit comes from the tree of God, as it were, and so echoes his characteristics. This is about God's work in us, creating godliness. Christ likeness in us. How is fruit produced? Fruit is produced over a period as the life of the tree flows through the branches and produces something with the amazing potential to create more like itself. If we allow the Spirit to do his work in us, he will make us more like Jesus and give us the ability to bring about more new life. Look at uh, John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8, for that passage about um, the vine and the branches. So, now the passage about love. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, it says. It's not surprising that the first characteristic mentioned is love, because God is love. It says so in 1 John 4, verse 8. You may be aware that there are a number of different words in Greek for love, expressing different kinds of love. This one is agapeo. And uh, I'm looking for a definition of that. And um, uh, the definition I found is in uh, a book by W.E. Vine. And it says this, the word is used in the Bible to describe the attitude of God towards his son towards the human race generally, to believers in particular, and to convey his will to his children concerning their attitude towards one another and towards all people. Of course, the classic exposition of um, the word uh, agapeo, love, is found in 1 Corinthians 13, and I would encourage you to read that. Of all God's riches, this is the most precious. Paul declares in the Corinthian passage that without this, he is nothing. The word agape here is not a noun, it's a verb. So the love produced by the Spirit is a doing, active love, not a feeling or emotion. It's a love doing something for someone. It might be an expression of our love for God in worship, or an act of service to a brother or sister in Christ, or blessing someone who's not a Christian, not necessarily someone nice or deserving or one we like. 
It might be expressed by a prayer for someone, feeding people we don't normally have contact with, visiting an offender in prison, making a difference in other people's lives without expecting anything in return. Am I telling you that we should be doing things such as this? No. I'm telling you that these are the sort of things the Spirit will prompt us to do if we let him. They're what Jesus would do and what he is equipping and encouraging us to do. Just listening and keeping in step with the Spirit will result naturally in us doing this stuff because it is God's stuff. In the present crisis especially, but always, there's a need for us to be expressing the love of God for the people he came to save. Let's pray.